I grew up watching Starsky and Hutch. I thought it'd be fun to do a movie of it. Mason PD! I saw Starsky and Hutch as a kid. It was one of those TV shows I grew up watching in the 70s and loved. It was just fly the way that you could just tune into this TV show and it was always something exciting and flying new. Hey, look what the wind blew in. And action! We're approaching the movie kind of like an origin story in that it actually comes before the TV show, so it's really how did Starsky and Hutch meet? No, 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 Kat, Come you can't on. do that. I work alone. I think that Ben and Owen's comedy comes from their different personalities. I just think they have great chemistry together. Ben and I have worked together on this maybe our sixth or seventh movie together, so we sort of are familiar with each other. We do have a sort of a friendship, and I think Starsky and Hutch were, were friends. I don't trust Owen, not for a second but uh, I do find them entertaining. Well, let's face it, the car is one of the stars of the movie. Owen gets really nervous when I'm driving in the car. He loves driving the car, but he's not a good driver, so it really is scary for me. We did this one scene where I peeled out and then did like a skid stop, and I looked over at Owen and he had his look like, I mean, literally like that, like a skeleton face, you know? And I thought he was joking, but really, Owen's not that good an actor that he could do a look like that and make it convincing, so I knew it was real. All right, stop shooting my car! Oh, the car is real, Sean. Reminds me of the old school TV show watching it, you dig? Huggy Bear was basically the coolest guy on TV at the time, so, you know, Snoop seemed to me like the logical choice because he is the coolest guy. I just wanted to bring some additive flavors to the Huggy Bear character because I felt like he was sharp on TV, but I wanted to just come and add my flavor to it. Dig it, baby. I think Snoop is on a one-man mission to immortalize the 70s pimp on celluloid. Snoop, just kind of his whole look and, you know, his style of dress is perfect for him. I think this will feel true to the original show in a way that doesn't in any way feel like we're parodying it, but we're also trying to find something that's just funny about it today. Go see the movie. Huggy sent you.